<laughs> yeah, right. Right, here's the drum. See about the R101 and other things, but anyway, this is the live drum room. I don't get in here that much, I often record the drums in the other room. But behind here, we've got a Puma Trilogy, Wurlitzer, another early Rhodes, um, there's another LM1 back here, and Cork Trident, Theremin, um, some Maracas. Uh, yeah, so it's again, ultimately, I'm looking for a full time engineer here, so if anyone wants to come and uh, operate tape and stuff while I'm, while I'm behind the drum kit. That's, that's, a, it? that's a nice sounding kit. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's, a, it's a, well, it's, some, it's, a, it's, a, it's an old Pearl Export, but some of the heads haven't been changed since 97. The famous story of a famous drummer who, um, I'm not sure which uh, drummer knows who he is, and he, uh, someone, they were in a studio in the 60s or whenever it was, and someone, oh, I'll just change all your drum heads, and he went absolutely nuts on that because he had a certain sound from old drum heads. Um, I'll have to find out who that was. But yeah, this is the, this is the hub, and we've got, some, we've got a four-track tape arcade. You can't really see them around the corner here. Um, so yeah, that's the uh, different things in the corner here. It's a bit of a crazy. Um, so you know, it's a, like, I, I feel like a, uh, I feel like a beaver in a burrow a lot of the time. Just you know, sort of, or is that the right word, a beaver? What's the animal that like just surrounds itself with things and like a magpie? Yeah, like a magpie in a nest. or a magpie in a, in a nest. nest or yeah. it's that kind of mentality. So here I am. But, you know, if I want to record drums, this is all mic'd up ready to go so it's all good so um, yeah you know so it's all the idea is to have a fully functioning studio but look, you watch me trying to get out I mean this is crazy I'm you know one of these days I'm not going to be able to get around here anymore but to get out without bringing it all down on itself and having a framed moment you have to kind of stand up here so I'm now standing on a 1972 Fender Twin um, and uh, you just kind of have to Somehow know where to put your weights, and bear in mind I'm 14 stone and uh, 14 and a half stone, and get around like that. So uh, yeah, Shure SM7B, great mic. MJ used one on Thriller. This is go-to mic. Um, yeah, so here we go. The R2600. That's the. Uh, Need to get to that really. Um, it's a cool lambda, mood prodigy, octave cats, and my personal favorite. I don't know if this is working, but um, it is kind of working. Gold and Andrew Gold's Never Let Us Slip Away, 1978 classic. All of it, apart from the kick drum and claps, is all our Omni One. Um, so, that's the reason why we've got an Art Omni One. I like my preset string synthy stuff, but yeah, it's actually embarrassing the amount of dust that's in here, and it's absolutely appalling. Really, I should be ashamed of myself. But what can one do? 
so we're gonna um I'm gonna say goodbye to the keyboard room. Thank you for visiting this bit of Effort Studios and we'll see you in another bit.